Hello and welcome to Motorbikes Monthly's practical section brought to you by Garmin. Today we're going to be looking at doing an oil change in a small four stroke outboard. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the engine running and get the oil nice and warm. Right, the oil should be nice and warm now. It's been run for a good five, ten minutes or so. Um, so the first thing we're going to do now is get access to the, to the workings. We're going to take the cowling off. Right, before we get started on the actual oil change itself, we're going to just put a pair of gloves on. Um, used engine oil, it's not good for your, for your skin. So we'll just put these on, keep our hands clean. All right, with our gloves on, the first thing we're going to do uh, is take the, the fill and the dipstick out just so when we drain it it lets the air in gets the draining done quicker and what we now need to do is to find the drain plug which on this engine is located under here and we're just going to unscrew that with a container underneath uh, to catch all the old oil as it comes out Right, now that all the oil is drained out, we can replace the drain plug. Now before we do, we just need to check the condition of the sealing washer. On this one it's metal, but it could be rubber or, or a fibre washer. Uh, and obviously if that looks like it needs replacing, then you should do that to, to avoid any leaks. So we can, uh, we'll stick this one straight back in now. Right, we don't need to nip this up too tight. It is really just, just, a, just nip it up a little bit. Right, that's plenty. If your outboard doesn't have a drain plug, or if perhaps if the drain plug is just a bit awkward to get to, another way of getting the oil out is to use one of these suction pumps, uh, stick it down the filler, and just pump away. And you can pretty much get the same amount of oil out as you'd get out with a drain plug. Right, now that we've got all the oil out and we've put the drain plug back in, we can think about refilling with oil. Um, but before we do, we need to get the user menu out and we need to check for the specification of the oil and the amount. Um, now this one needs half a litre and it specifies 1030 or 1040 and in good old fashioned Blue Peter style, here's some I prepared earlier, we've got our half a litre of suitable oil and using a funnel we are literally just going to pour that in. Right, we've measured out half a litre, um, that's the amount this engine uh, is supposed to take. We're just going to stop just slightly short of that, just leave a little bit in the jug, um, just because we might not have got all of the oil out, and we don't want to overfill it, because if we do, we've then got to mess around getting some of it out. So better to underfill and top up than, than overfill. Right, now that we've got the correct quantity of oil in there, all we need to do is fire the engine up, give it a quick run just to circulate the oil amongst all the components, um, what we'll do after that is we will let it settle and then we'll come back and check the level just to make sure that it is still correct. Uh, if it is, we can just put the cowling back on. Um, if not, we can top it up a bit more if we need to. Uh, and that's it, you're ready to go. So I'm just going to run this now, but uh, in the meantime, I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.